everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hello, everyone. This is Salvi, your blue squirrel, coming over here with you with another little thing that we have here for you today. An update on what happened yesterday. Well, at least the month stuff that I mentioned yesterday on regards to Twisty Amanozako. We are going to take a look at the video that she's doing here, clarifying everything. Um, basically, what Twisty has to say. Fine, but I wish people would stop saying, you know, that I make other livers uncomfortable, you know? Yeah, and, like, it's, I it's too much. You know, we're all good, right? I know. It just upsets me that people try to say that type of stuff. Because I see it all the time from so many different people. And it's like, I know I get too much sometimes, but I always talk with them after and, you know, make sure they're not uncomfortable. You know? Well, that's good. Yeah, it's just so frustrating because I feel it every time. I know, I just wish people understood that, you know what I mean? Because even if you only start interactions on stream, you know, we talk outside of that. I mean, I get it, you know, if, if somebody talked like that to my Oshi, I can understand, you know, feeling upset, but I would think that, I don't know, the first Totsu, Totsu, whatever, they joined, you know, it was the same thing. You would think if I'm back, like, people would understand, what do you call it? People would understand that, like, you know, we're all good, right? If I'm there again, yeah. they probably don't. There's like, maybe, maybe don't clip, because I don't think it's going to mean anything coming from me. I'm not, like, just venting you guys, just because, you know, I don't want their community to be upset with them or anything, of course, but... You know, at the same time, we have like a certain dynamic in clubs and I'm not gonna just, you know, not be myself so that other people can feel more alright with that, I guess. I don't know. I just think, I mean, I don't really care about any clips like that. As if they know better, would you mind someone clipped you saying that? Pretty sure a clip that's uploaded on Twitter would clear up misunderstandings. Uh, spreading rumors is never good. I just yeah. think that like, me saying it doesn't really mean anything. And I feel like, I don't know, it's just, uh, a question mark, question mark, question mark to me. Actually worried to upload this because Twisty said not to, but then okay with it. Upload it because I feel like this will clear up the rumors. It's been going on, not meaningless. If you guys think this is wrong, we'll kindly delete the vid. I don't think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong. We're hanging out, we're having a good time. And then people are like, oh yeah, finally she's gone. The that, most that's important mean. thing is that yeah. Venta is happy with the interaction. I'm happy. Yeah. Kanata's happy, Wilson's happy. That's all that matters, but still it's just frustrating because i hate it when people you know have an image of you in their head and they kind of paint you with something based on what they think or whatever I don't know, it's funny. oh yeah i've had that i have that going on right now but yeah let's keep going yeah, but, yeah it's just frustrating yeah and i can't i can't blame them for it i understand i know what it is like to experience me but at the same time <laughs> i don't i don't know maybe i'm not a nice enough person to care enough to be to be different or to be nicer i don't know yeah it's just like you know at least you know uh if you're gonna cry about it at least be a little bit nicer you know <laughs> at least be a little bit nicer no sometimes um i might uh you know very sexy and it's a <laughs> where yeah. i just like and retweet porn all the time uh, oh god <laughs> that i don't i don't have that but in my you know i i look at cute anime girls right and for some reason everything twisty related gets super super recommended to me so even I don't I don't follow my Twisty account or anything, but and some of it was like I think one of them was like I said on stream my cat scratched me like I, I noticed like my cat had scratched me okay. and I was like oh she scratched me and it was like I don't know it was like trying to play that off like I was lying about it being a cat scratch or something I don't know it was really weird I don't even use the same browser one of them is on my phone I don't even like Twisty stuff on my phone and I was like I just like question my question my question mark. I don't know and the comments are so weird I wouldn't say that it like makes me sad or anything but at the same time yeah the fan people leave out the details you're a mod of our band pitbulls they live to hate you got to care less people always do that <laughs> they could have at least added the r slash band pitbulls mod true i think that if you you know you hate someone so much that you are like telling someone to die right oh you're wow never met yeah no never and you're saying that stuff i genuinely think you should probably get help you know yeah you don't say that somebody especially not in a vod especially not when, when they're actually streaming you do not say that no matter how much you dislike somebody and i know it's just so absurd to me because i feel like people really want me to be something that I'm not and I just want to play Minecraft. I don't know. So I, I like to rant a lot if you haven't noticed. That's why I mostly be, you know, gonna be? go on Twitter. But yeah, we're worth fighting, right? I think some people are just like not happy maybe. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what causes that, you know? I just hope maybe, maybe you'll feel happiness someday. Maybe you'll take up Minecraft. Yeah, take up Minecraft. Yeah. Oh my God, I solved it. I literally just solved it. You I just Minecraft. solved it. Play Minecraft. <gasps> There's no way. Like, I don't know why Twitter is so weird, by the way. Like, I feel Twitter's like very even weird. if you don't interact with stuff, it will show you stuff. 
Annoying is interesting. You should put People on Twitter are weird. <laughs> well, I try not to look a at lot that of stuff because I know it's you know probably not very very good, right? But like I don't know. I saw it I think last night when I was looking at my <laughs> very clothed women. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what is going on with Twitter. I feel like it used to be so perfect, and now it's doomed. It's doomed. Nothing but SFW throwing you. I'm yeah. trying so hard to do that. I'm trying so hard to do that. I want it to be just entirely naked. I even, I have it. It's like mostly that. It's just ever since I, I debuted, you know, twisty stuff keeps popping up. I really think it's my IP. But it, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting to me. But yeah, that's what she had to do, she had to say about the whole situation. It is not cool that she was told all that kind of stuff. Uh, some people take their anger and their hatred a little too far. Uh, she was, like she said, uh, collabing with somebody. She was interacting with somebody. That person, whether it be Yuki Wilson, whether it be Clara, whether it be uh, Vanta Crow, which was a recent video that I made, whoever it ended up being, they would let her know more than likely if something was bad. So they didn't let her know that anything was bad. So most likely nothing was bad. You you know, people, the, the NDF, the Fujoshis, whoever they ended up being, they just go a little too far sometimes. And we have a little bit of the responses that people had to her stuff. Unhinge was a classic Niji trait. You know, when Niji Yen was announced, I thought the male one was going to be the one with the most attention due to the other two girls being BTA Dodgers. And this voice is similar to another scammer. Turned out Twisty was the one that got the most attention because she's the most uh, out of out of uh, pocket compared to other ones. Seems to have happened here is a failure on several accounts. Signed up to big agency, absolutely no prior experience. Niji Sanjay kept her application around for the spot despite lack of experience. Niji Sanjay again kept her through the entire hiring process. Niji Sanjay does not provide adequate or any training once hired. The training part, I think, is the big issue here. We can dunk on her all we want, but at the end of the day, Niji's fault that they, they should have never hired her or provided her with more attention. Hiring her is, is not the problem for me. For me, is that they didn't provide her enough training, enough support, managerial or otherwise. That's the issue that happened here. And to go a little further into the whole twisty thing, of course, because we have to take a look at everything now that we have more information out there. Uh, we have one thing right here where it says, you know, the, Kyo's video, Kyo did a video on it just like I did. Uh, people were reacting to the jokes. She was doing just regular jokes. She was doing banter. Vantacro, of course, has his reactions to it. Of course, he's got to he's got to play it up. He's got to, you know, be a little bit extreme with the way he reacts to things. But even he said at the end of the stream, if you watch my other video, the video that I recently did on it, at the end of the stream, he said, if he's uncomfortable, he lets people know he was not uncomfortable. It's, he should be the one who to decide if a person is welcome or not. No one should be saying anything negative or being happy that someone's gone or anything of that sort. When it comes to Twisted Manazako, they should not be mean to her. He said that is not something that is ever acceptable in his community. And that is not something that should ever be acceptable in anybody's community being mean to someone else. Lastly, people comparing Twisty to Zion. To be fair, the joke is nowhere near as bad as Zion's uh, original joke was. Uh, I mean, like in bad taste, that type of thing. Uh, only joke that's worth complaining about is Hex and Ash and Goldfish X incident. Yeah, this one was just banter. It wasn't really a bad joke, in my opinion. People here at least react much, uh, didn't react much to her outside of the initial post about the line. 4chan rat, but no tra got no traction here and so far. It does seem like the sub is isn't really buying into the rumors and mostly has moved on after nothing happened following the joke. The new gen has really been getting much attention here after the initial launch. They haven't been. So it's not a big deal here. Not a big deal in many places. Was Mercer's mistake was clicking on a kill video. A lot of people don't like kill apparently. I, I get a lot of hate here on my videos as well. Told YouTube to stop showing me Kyo's videos a long time ago. The outrage in these situations almost always not that prevalent. And the opinions of a few are blown out the proportions to create drama. I would guess that most of the current Niji fan base isn't paying attention, let alone the former fan base you can find here. So yeah, it's just don't create too much drama out of these things. Like I said in my last video, it was a nothing burger. It was basically people just being angry because they were Fujoshis or whatever it ended up being. People were being a little too crazy on that stuff. That's the way I see it at least. Why do people say Riku is a fake CEO? Genuine question. People want to know why they say it's a fake CEO or chief, chief executive officer. Because in my opinion, uh, he doesn't feel like he has a lot of skills, doesn't feel like he has a lot of things other than trying to get money. He doesn't really seem like he has a lot of experience leading people. There are a lot of CEOs that are like that, and that's why people are like, oh my god, these people just have golden parachutes. They have a golden spoon in their mouth, and that's how they got to where they're going to get to. Let's see what other people think. Same thing as I said, zero skills. From what I've seen in the comments around here, it was very well, from a very well-to-do background, rich parents, and dropped out of university at a young age. Combining all those factors together, People started arriving at the conclusion that he was just some parent's money to fund the company. Whether it's true or not, have no idea. He could also have used like money uh, 
that uh, venture capitalists use. Venture capitalists go for these type of companies a lot. Uh, going by that assumption, he'd have to hire competent people to run the company in his stead because he has zero clue how to give his how to run the company, given his lack of experience and likely lack of skills too. That just leaves him as empty figurehead of the company. He's not even experienced enough to know what type of people to get for his company. He's not even experienced enough to know how to get good managers, good business people, good uh, executives under him. Like good vice presidents, good all those. He just pretty much, it becomes like a boys club. It becomes like a club of people he likes, people he knows. He's a CEO. There's no denying that. He's terrible, short-sighted buffoon, but he's a CEO. He definitely doesn't deserve the position or his billionaire status, but alas. The first time I have seen him referred to being a fake CEO. Incompetent, yes. I mean, that's why people, some people are considering him a fake CEO. He's very incompetent. He does not know how to manage people. He does not know how to properly create a company with good managers. Because one of the things about being a good CEO is knowing what you don't know, knowing how to fill those gaps of things you don't know and have them with good people around you. So, you know, he's an actual CEO, but he just doesn't know how to manage people. He's very incompetent at what he does. A little bit of meme culture, a little bit of memes here. You have Doki Bird in the uh, the tomato skin suit, uh, tomato suit, the full tomato just popping up and converting them into, uh, you know, her new dragoons, the old dragoons to new dragoons. They're all very happy, of course. Selentatsky transformed, completed. She went, became Doki Bird. She has uh, enough subscriptions. She beat the one. Some days ago, Doki surpassed the sub count of her previous account. Currently have. So I made a small animation. That was actually a good animation. Uh, the evolution of a dragon. Birds, 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 birds. And um, here's another one on virtual YouTubers. You'll all be named Dragoons. <laughs> They're all in there. They're all in there now. They're all Dragoons. Yes, this was uh, four months ago when it first got created. Now, here we have the thing with uh, with Twisty and Manazako. At least there's there's some memes going on. Do some horrible stuff. I sleep with Luca. Make some jokes. Some not really even offensive jokes either. Real S. Yeah, freaking Niji defenders freaking wake up to that kind of crap. I don't know what that's all about. Bit of a broken record, but it's pretty bad. Some of the female livers end up getting much larger focus on them. When it, yeah, they do. They get a much larger focus, and that's really, really, really messed up, in my opinion. I don't like that. I really dislike that. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.